Hey everybody, Rocky Mountain Figures here. Happy May the 4th for you all Star Wars fans out there. And today, for May the 4th, we are going to be taking a look at these brand new Star Wars Black Series Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Vintage Han Solo, Leia, Luke, and Lando Calrissian. So, let's get started. First things first, we're just going to be taking a look at the packaging and the accessories for these figures. Then we're going to take a closer look at all the figures at the same time. And just talk about them a little bit. I'm not really going to go over their articulation. Then we're going to compare next to some other figures. And then head straight to the conclusion slash verdict part of the video. So let's get started. So here are the packaging for the Black Series figures. Of course, they're not your standard Star Wars Black Series packaging. They're actually, you know, kind of this vintage carded packaging. Because uh, this year is the 40th anniversary for the Empire Strikes Back movie. Which is actually my personal favorite Star Wars movie. Now, of course... Right here, you have all the packages, and uh, as you can see, there's a little slips in them. They're actually at the very bottom of the packaging, and you know they're probably going to be the first thing you take out before you take out the figure. But you know, just getting a quick look at all of them here, I'm going to put some to the side. And let's do Han Solo first. So here is the Han Solo packaging right there, with the nice shiny uh, sticker right there. So it's looking very good. And then here is the back of the packaging. Here's the UPC for Han. Quickly going over Leia. Leia's packaging right here. There it is. Really nice. There's a, the little sti shiny sticker right there. Here's the back of the packaging. Here's the UPC in case you need it. Here's Luke's packaging right here. Same thing. It's got the shiny sticker right there. Here's the back of the packaging. And then here is the UPC. Last but not least, here we have Lando's packaging right here. Like I said before, Lando is from Wave 2 of this line. So his wave is all these figures. And here's the UPC for that as well. Well, actually, before I go on with the accessories, I just want to let you know, right now, Wave 1 of this assortment, which, bringing the package back out, Wave 1 consists of the Bestman Luke, Yoda, Hoth Leia, Han Solo Bestman, and at, -AT Driver are actually in Walmarts right now. Whereas, Wave 2 of this assortment, which contains the uh, Snowspeeder Luke, Lando, TIE Fighter Pilot, Rebel Hoth Soldier, and R2-D2 are in Target. So, you know, you have a better chance of looking for them in those stores. So now let's get into the accessories. So getting the accessories out of the way real quick, we'll start with Lando. Lando comes with this uh, DH-17, I believe it's called. Yeah, this is the DH-17, if I remember. I played Battlefront 1 and 2, so I know a little bit about the Star Wars blasters. And it comes with this other piece. I think this is the communicator. I forgot what he uses for. Remind me in the comments. Then, of course, he comes with this cape, which is pretty, uh, it's pretty hard. It's soft, but, you know, it kind of gets in the way when you put it on him. As for Leia, Leia also comes with another DH-17 blaster right here. So that's, uh, you know, in case you lose one, you got another one. Then she comes with the pair of goggles that she uses on the Millennium Falcon, I believe, and then this other tool right here. And then, Han only comes with one accessory, he only comes with this trusty uh, DL-44 blaster, right there. But, Luke also comes with the same thing, but I think this one actually has better scope. I'm not sure if Luke and Han have the, actual, have the exact same blaster. Uh, I mean, you know... It, they both look similar. Of course, this one has more detail than this one. I'm not sure if they're both DL-44s, but this is what it is. And then, of course, Luke comes with his lightsaber, or Anakin's lightsaber, right there. So now let's get a closer look at the figures. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to talk about my least favorite figure and work up to my favorite out of this four. But I must be honest, I actually love all these figures these figures are pretty well done. Uh, the faces especially are really well. And uh, the articulation is pretty good too. Especially for some Black Series figures. So let's get into it. My least favorite out of this four is the Hot Leia. But once again, I still like this figure. This figure is really nice. I mean, especially that face sculpt, man. That face sculpt looks really well done. Really love that. And here's the inside of it and whatnot. So this is a really good 
figure. I do like it. I think the one thing it could improve on is the head articulation. I mean, she doesn't really look up, look down. She only moves really side to side. Not real, not any real tilt either. It's just more up. It's just more side to side. So I wish it kind of improved that articulation. But I think the double, not the double joint elbows, but the single joint elbow, been more than ninety. That's pretty good. I really love that. And then of course uh, it's got this weird um, uh, waist hinge right there, so she can't move around. Whatnot. Probably just a, you know, it won't. So that won't look ugly. But <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, this is a well-sculpted figure as well. And of course, it comes with very nice accessories. The goggles can fit over her eyes like that. Come on, camera. There you go. Looks very nice. So, this, even though this figure could have used some more articulation, in my opinion, I still like it. And I think as rating goes, I'm probably going to give this like an 8 out of 10, man. Just the sculpting and the face look really nice. And for my next figure... I have the Lando figure. Man, I love this Lando is looking really awesome. I really like the face sculpt that they put right there with using the photo real tech. But this isn't a perfect Lando though, especially with my copy because my copy has this problem where like you see this leg, the knee is straight, the foot is straight. This the knee is straight and the foot is sticking out like that. Oh man. When I open this up, I really got mad at this, man. I was like, what? So, yeah, my, and he doesn't have any boot articulation either or foot articulation. So, or not foot articulation. He doesn't have any foot swivel. So you can't, I can't put this back in position unless I really like destroy this whole section and then put it back. But uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Other than that, it's a nice figure with some good articulation. Ben right on 90. It's got, I know the camera keeps focusing on the background. It's got a nice uh, swivel in the uh, in the torso right there. It's got good articulation overall, but just this really brings the figure down, man. Just this problem right here, the QC issue. But the face sculpt, man, the face sculpt looks nice. So yeah, it looks really, it looks really good overall. I think for this figure, I'm also given eight out of ten. Just because, you know, that, you know, even though it's a nice figure, just this, this is really the only problem, just the leg. Anyway, getting to my next figure, my second to first favorite figure, I have the Bespin Luke. Now, this guy's articulation is really nice as well. I think, again, he only has one problem, and I think that problem is the face. Um, I've seen a lot of Black Series reviews, and... You know, the faces with Luke are never right. There's always one thing off. I think Luke is the one person that they really can't get. But, you know, I feel like for what they've done, they tried their best. I don't know. He, he kind of looks like one of the apes from the original Planet of the Apes movie, to be honest, man. Those eyes are just really scary. I don't know. Just, I mean, it looks good on the bottom half. Like, if I cover this up, if I cover this up, it looks like Luke. But then you get to the eyes and, ooh, they look weird. They look really weird. But other than that, this figure really is nice. Once again, the sculpting and the painting on this figure is really well done. The dry brushing, I really love it. Of course, he has a holster for his uh, DL44 right there. And then, you know, this, this figure is really nice, bro. I really like this figure. I think for this figure, I'm going to give an 8.5 out of 10. Getting to my favorite figure, I'm pretty sure you all guessed it, is Han Solo. Now, Han Solo is my favorite original trilogy light side character. And I feel like this figure just does him justice, man. I, I really like this figure. Of course, that face is just spot on Harrison Ford. <laughs> you know, you can tell he's got like a, a Harrison Ford looking face. <laughs> but, you know, be, even besides that, just this figure is really well done. I don't think I got the previous one. Uh, the one which just comes with the regular Black Series box. I think that's going for like $10 at GameStop, but I, I, I was never able to find it. You know, I wasn't even looking for it either. Again, back then, I wasn't really a big Black Series collector, you know, but I kind of want to get back into the game. That's why I love that they came out with the 40th anniversary series or the vintage carded series, so that way I can get back into the game. But yeah, I mean, he's got really nice articulation. He's got head and neck articulation. He can look all the way down. And then he can look all the way, and I popped the head. He's got a dumbbell joint right here. 
There's like a little, there's like little cuts right there. I don't know what that's all about, but you know, I'm not sure if that's a QC issue. I doubt it. It kind of looked like they're supposed to be there. You can look all the way up, man. You can tilt, get those Harrison Ford expressions right there. Of course, he comes with his trusty DL44, which is all he needs. <laughs> and yeah, this this figure alone is awesome. I really love this figure a lot. So now let's get into some quick comparisons with some other Black Series figures. So getting some comparisons out of the way, here are the four Vintage Wave figures next to the Cara Dune and the Mandalorian figures from the Mandalorian show. And then here are the figures next to the Force Awakens Chewbacca and the old Ben Kenobi figure. And then lastly for comparisons, here are the four figures next to the Archive Wave Boba Fett and the Darth Vader from what line? I don't remember. <laughs> But that is a Black Series Darth Vader right there. So now let's get into the conclusion of the video. So getting to the conclusion of this video. Now, this these four figures are really good in my opinion. I really do enjoy the figures. I think the one I wanted the most out of the wave was Luke. But of course I ended up liking the Han Solo more. Actually, I don't remember if I gave Han Solo a rating. Uh, his rating is 9 out of 10. I love that Han Solo figure. It's really awesome. But... All four of these figures are awesome in my book. Even though, you know, each of them have their own problems, they're still really good. I really do enjoy them. And, you know, for a person who's, you know, slowly but surely coming back to the Star Wars line, I'm very happy with these four figures. I think these four figures were a great jumping on point, you know, because, uh, of course, I have, like you saw right now, the Boba Fett, Darth Vader, you know, Mando, Cara Dune, and whatnot. I have some figures, of course. I wish my Star Wars collection, especially my Clone Wars section, was as big as, you know, all the other hardcore Black Series fans collections. But, you know, slowly but surely, I will get to that point. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully if I keep this up. You'll actually see my Star Wars Black Series collection in the next collection update video, which is going to come very soon. I'm still working on it. You know, um, I'm still planning it. It's for sure going to happen either this month or next month. So stay tuned for that. But... Anyway, I really love it, and of course, I know these all are reissues of the same figures from long ago, but if you don't have these figures, then I highly suggest that you get them, or if you just want to keep them on card because the cards are really nice looking, uh, you can get it for that reason too, you know? So anyway, that's going to be it for this May the 4th Star Wars video. I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys, you know, found this video informative and found my opinion Okay, <laughs> I know my opinion is my opinion. You guys have your opinion, and uh, I hope this gets as much views as the uh, as my Marvel Legends reviews because so far I've seen that any other reviews or videos that are not Marvel Legends related don't get a lot of views. So I'm hoping that this video will get a lot of attention. But you know, if not, it is what it is. I'll still continue doing what I'm doing, and I'm still working on my Star Wars project as well. So stay tuned for all that. And uh, links to my Instagram, eBay, and offer up will be in the description below. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy now. See you guys next time.